Well, it's come down that Texas Longhorns co-offensive coordinator Brian Harson has left the team and will be announced as the head coach for Arkansas State. Um, that's just that came out last night, and as of right now, that's all we know is just that that went down, and that looks like Major Applewhite will be take over play calling duties uh, when it concerns the Alamo Bowl going against Oregon State. Um, as I said, we don't really know a whole at this point, just the fact that it's going down. So uh, we don't know the background decisions. We don't know the conversations that went on. Um, but with what we, the little we do know and the way things have been going in Austin, I don't really see this as a positive sign. Uh, you know, Harsh has been here three seasons, uh, spent ten seasons in Boise, five uh, play calling over there. And, you know, I felt for the most part people were... Uh, okay with what he'd done, the job he had done, uh, you know, for three years. Uh, yeah, they haven't been the greatest three years, um, definitely not in Texas Longhorn history. Um, but I felt the play con wouldn't have been the problem, mainly been the personnel and where they need to be put at. Um, but, and at the same time, though, I never felt that Harson got his guy under center. I mean, you, a quarterback, the right quarterback for a Harson center is actually a guy like a Colt McCoy a guy who can move in the pocket but is extremely accurate and can use his legs if he has to. Um, and as we've seen, with, without, uh, since Colts left, we haven't had a guy who can do that. Uh, Case can move in the pocket, but he didn't have a strong enough arm, and his decision-making is uh, questionable. And with David Ash, a guy who can run forward with a lot of power and has a fairly strong arm, but once again, decision-making and accuracy can be a problem at times as well. Um, so he hasn't had the, the best, uh, tools under center, uh, that, uh, guys like Greg Davis had in the past. Um, but at the same time, uh, the running backs have, we haven't had this many good running backs in a long time at one time at Texas. Um, but with all that being said, I think him leaving actually says, says more than what he did at Texas. Um, did he leave because it was a better opportunity because he wanted to get a chance to coach at Arkansas State? Look, Arkansas State's a great starting point. Arkansas State is one of those teams in a smaller conference, a smaller school, that on a regular basis puts out a pretty good product on the field and usually pushes teams. I know they pushed Texas uh, pretty pretty bad back in 2007. Um, I know they've uh, beaten some big teams. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a good program. It's a solid program. At the same time, with a guy who has this much coordinating experience uh, at this level, you would think he would probably wait for a bigger gig. I mean, maybe that's, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Same time, so what I'm thinking is maybe he did leave because of an opportunity. Maybe it was an opportunity he couldn't pass up and he always wanted to be a head coach. Or, and this is my opinion, is he leaving a sinking ship? Is he seeing the writing on the wall with this program and just wants no part of it? Uh, you know, just the way things have gone the last couple of years, especially this season, um, just personnel-wise, coaching-wise, management-wise, and, and just the way we're seeing this team go, I, I, don't, I don't see anything positive going into next season, hardly at all. Um, I don't know where we build from because, you know, last year, especially on the defensive side, it seemed like we were getting a lot better, and this season took a huge step back. And at the same, and on offense, we got better, but I didn't see... I saw those flashes of the of us using our talent to the best of our abilities, and but then it never sustained at no point in the season, and now we fall into an Alamo Bowl game against a very good Oregon State team, which I'm not sure we can beat. Um, so, I want your guys' opinion. What what do you make of Brian Harson leaving Texas? Do you think it's just a, a move and opportunity so he can move up and and get his coaching career uh, kick started, or is he just jumping off a sinking ship? Let me know in the comments below and. Uh, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. I think I, I expect right now, just looking at not just with Harsa, but everything else, I'm expecting, for, expecting uh, some pretty dark days for Texas in the next coming seasons. I just, I just don't feel good about it. So let me know, guys, in the comments below. Hook'em horns and Texas fight.